Look at that! Isn't that great? In the winter. Uh, gotta be pre-war this. And we'll lay there, uh, what's it call that? The Randall Gleason had one. Yeah. It's Ford. Into the 30s, maybe. 36 or 38. Okay, I love this. Percy McFarland plowed with a horse and buggy, eh? Yeah. That's and my time. And old Mr. Nickel, remember he was the uh, town clock? Town and, old, yeah. And he had to do some too. Howard? Howard McNichol, yeah. Where was he? What? He was, do he was doing the plow, the, the horses with the plow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because in the summer, in the wintertime, you couldn't, down the front street, they had plowed and you couldn't see that side of the street. Mm -hmm. There was so much snow. It looked like uh, that. That's not still water, is it? Well, I don't know. It's the background gray? Right? That looks different from that angle. Yeah, mm. very, yeah. Look at that. No <laughs> snow tires. There's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest we get the horses on. Not horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no shirt and tie and hat. See everybody did the front street, see? Yeah, yeah. and that's a restaurant there, the sign was showing. Yeah. That's Rexall. Rex 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 that Rex was, uh, yeah, that's where the place closed, the restaurant closed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bill Rollins. Yeah. Rams Drugstore. Well, have you uh, I talked to Randy yeah. Metcalf? His mother was Bessie Wren. And I'll tell you, his aunt is the youngest of the four Wren girls. They didn't carry the snow away then. They just stayed there. <laughs> That's Water Street, the sign over the street. We're out. See the sign. I know we're out. Charlie Taylor's garage, whatever it was then. <laughs> oh, no, I don't no, know. No, no, Look no. at the snow. Look. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Well, what and the it, would come, it would come in November and it would stay. I can remember walking up the side of Jeffrey's uh, garage there, walking up the snow up on onto the roof and down off the snow on the other side. <laughs> yeah. So that would have been in the, in the 40s, mid 40s yeah. there about. Okay. There's the, yeah, there's the dollhouse in the front of the O'Neill house. That's the, the dollhouse, doll yeah, playhouse at Frederick Street. There's and that's ashes uh, on one of our great aunts. That would be Aunt Ooh, Kathleen. That? That's what was my job and I can home at noon. I took the, used to take a little pan with the ashes out and throw it out. Mm -hmm. Amazing what people did for themselves. Oh, yeah. Too tall. She was a very tall lady. That was Aunt Kathleen. She was a nurse in New York. She was a public health nurse, I think, here, too. One of them was a very accomplished piano player. I know that. Pianist. That's, again, across the street from the Frederick Street Inn. See, that's, the, that's Jeff Holmes' house there. That's Miss O'Neill. Yeah, that's one of them. Miss O'Neill. Yeah, that's true. Five girls and two boys. Two boys. Yeah, Jim, John, Bill. Yeah, there's the gates to the Mrs. O'Neill's. Now, which one is? Alice had the store, didn't she? Yeah. One of them was tall and slim, as I remember. A Annie, wasn't it? Annie, Alice, and I can't. I don't know. Alice and which gates are these? That's the ones that. That's the ones that be going into the back side of Jeffrey's, like Jeffrey's house, like be going in off. Off Frederick Street. I wonder where he took the pictures from. Right across from his house, probably. Bill O'Neill lived right across the street. Okay, so Bill lived in the big White House. In on Frederick. In on Frederick. Yeah. And if you look across the street from the front door of that house, you'd be looking at the old Mrs. O'Neill's, which was Miss O'Neill's. <laughs> Missy's the three sisters yeah, lived there. Which was uh, which is now Jeff Holmes' place. 
the big one there where the bed and breakfast is, that was the first one. That's, yeah, that was yeah, the first. Yeah. yeah. That's Francie's. That's right, yeah. That's after a, a wet snow because the snow is just clinging to the trees and the wires. Well, there's not much snow on the road and there's no snow bank, so that's either an early snow or a late snow. Looks like our father's walk, no? Yeah. That's uh, across the, from Frederick Street yeah. House. Pre-war. Mm. What about that car? It's a fancy car. Yeah. It's a snow boots. <laughs> cool car. That's coming out of the Frederick Street, and that's right across the street. Somebody's looks like a suitcase. They're going somewhere. Mm. Oh, he's waving right on their way. Oh, he's not driving. That looks like That's, our father. Yeah. Getting in there. Oh. Your father is Jim, Jim O'Neill. Oh, that's nice. Shame. Must be around Christmas. They got lights in some of the trees there. They oh. had a huge, big, tall fir tree in Jeffrey Holmes's yard that they used to put lights that's on. That's Gladys' house right there. Well, that's what Nancy Kay said was Gladys Burton's and house. She this is Gladys' house, and there's another one there, and then the one on the corner is now the new Conley. So That's, this is Queen Street. This is Queen. Looking, looking west towards, towards yeah. King. Looking west. Okay, that's the backyard at uh, the Pagan the O'Neill house. house. It's the first illuminated Christmas tree. Yes, they did. They had that. Been. That's the O'Neill crowd there. Somewhere. That's all the O'Neill ladies, because there's the little one in the white fur. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, that's, that's right. got to be Looks Frank like. or Hugh Henry, those boys. That's the whole family, I suppose, at Christmas Day and having a picture taken. Oh, they're all going to line up get their picture taken. There's a lot of them, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, there seem to be a... So how many daughters were there? The three O'Neill ladies that didn't marry were they, aunts, their fathers. They were their fathers. Yeah. Yeah. And Mary, wouldn't they? Mary and Carm and John and Jim and Bill. Carmelita would be their niece. That would have been before 40, that mum and dad were married in... In 42. September of 42, so unless Mum's in that, nope. which she isn't. I'm saying it's 40 or 41. Well, no, but Dad was married in September of 42, so he wouldn't be winter, he wouldn't be there at Christmas time unless Mum's the right? there. Okay, like, just a minute, that a also could right. be Helen O'Neill right there. The little girl? Yeah, I, maybe that's so There's it. ten years difference. That's like our dad, dad who ran in running. front of the camera, and that was Jim O'Neill. So that was Jim running mm -hmm. towards the camera. That's, that's probably in the 30s, and Indian. that's a generation earlier. That would be two boys and then Helen, and there's my mother there. Yeah, that, so that would have been in the 30s. Well, that would look like Bill taking his hat off on the left. So maybe John's at the camera now. In the middle, I was like Bill on the left. Yeah. Yeah. See, the camera's a little less steady. John's not as steady as Bill was. <laughs> Bill was skating. Katie's Cove? Okay. Katie's Cove. Oh, yeah, there's the Neil Farm. Barn. Frozen. Of course, the, it, was, it was landlocked. That didn't happen very often. Yeah, I was wondering when the last time was. Yeah, that's that's cold. <laughs> yeah, and no snow. No. Smooth ice. No snow in the background either. <clears throat> One of those houses is still there. That uh, farmhouse on the right. But you know, it wasn't uncommon for the cold to come before the snow. Like mm. this could be like December. When we were young, 
you couldn't sw swim out at the Katie's Cove on the on this side. That was the Hotel Beach, mm. and most of the locals went across, went up the railway track, and s swam off of that bar over there. They didn't so. try to get out of the raft. They wouldn't let you on the raft. No, no. They brought all the ride to kick you off the raft. Oh yeah, there's the that's the bathing beach side. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We weren't allowed on that side. <laughs> Shamcook Lake certainly froze. They used to do ice. They used to take ice boats out there and sail all, all through one end to the other of Shamcook Lake. They say this this is moving water here, <laughs> and salt water. Yes, that's the bathhouses at Katie's Cove, the original bathhouses. There were change places for people to change in and shower in. And the harbor, of the bay, froze over in 1938 because mm. my dad skated mm. to Deer Island and played a hockey. A group of the boys. I skated from here I to Deer have, Island, played hockey for the day, and when my dad got home, he got his app blistered because Graham didn't know where he was. I have a clipping from the newspaper of old John Garnet, the story that he walked from Deer Island to St. Andrews on the ice. They pushed a boat in front of them just in case. Yeah. When, when was that? Any idea? That was in the 30s, I believe. Th I think so, 29 or 30. My dad talked about it. Yeah. It is 29 or 30. Dad never said anything about any dinghy. Oh, they've got hockey sticks there. For you. They're having a, having a good go around there. There's a couple of gals standing right in the middle of it all. <laughs> They're skating around them. <laughs> That's the problem we always had. When I was a kid, I, I wanted to skate, and the boys wanted to play hockey right in the middle of it. Yeah. All. Well, we were lucky because we had the arena. It had to be a special winter that you could skate outdoors. Mm -hmm. Um, it had to be cold yeah. and not a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to have lived back then. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked to have lived back oh, then. <laughs> Seriously. What a huge space cell. I mean, yeah. there's no need for them to be all <laughs> close together, nope. interfering with each other. Look at the dog down yeah. there enjoying yeah. the fun. But but the girls being typical girls, oh yeah, they were right, right in the midst of it because that's true. that's where the boys were. That's true. Gee. The path between the houses is well worn, isn't it? Oh yes. Those two pillars are still there. Hmm. Oh yes, yes. I've got pictures of Earl Thomas um, with a horse or a team of horses. That's Sarah, Sarah Dunham's Dunham house. house that got moved. The house below yeah. Jeff's house was the one that was was moved around the corner when they built the parking lot for yeah. for the Savy Sea. Because yeah. the Simons lived there. It was in that house yeah. many times. David, do you remember when it was a Chinese laundry? Are you finished? That house was a Chinese laundry when I was real little. I remember it vaguely. Is it? Is that right? Yeah. Not a nice house for laundry, wasn't it? That, again, is Lawson Spire's father and mother's home. And Which, this is Ed Finnegan's house. And that used to be... Lawson Spire's is a, the dark one. Yeah. This, used, this place of Ed Finnegan's, uh, that location, used to be the Chinese laundry. Oh, yes. And once every winter they would have our grandfather over for dinner and uh, so they would have they would smoke these pipes apparently these long oh. and they'd have Chinese food This is Mary. 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 My cousins, <laughs> the oldest of the first cousins, and they lived here for two years during the Second Second World War. Mm -hmm. That's while their father was you. away, and, yes, and yeah. they moved. They moved out to Vancouver after the war. When mm -hmm. her husband came back from the war, Maybe. she's a Carmelita's she's daughter. That she, Carmelita had. We have that very that very thing upstairs. There, that's Sleep. going into our that's grandfather, great grandfather's home. Is that your that's mother? That's my that mother, yeah. And, and I still Alicia. have that that uh, sleigh upstairs. Mm. 
So Western those two girls are sisters, and they're our oldest cousins. So the one in the prow, whatever it is. Alicia. Alicia. Alicia, Alicia, Alicia O'Hagan. The other one. Mary Elizabeth. Mary Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Shields <laughs> O'Hagan. That's, yeah. that's our Auntie Carm. That's yeah. their mother. The thing with our family that's very difficult is that there are many Carms or Carmelitas, Three. and there are Mary jo many Johns and, and Marys. many Marys and many... No, my mother's Mary. Taffy. <laughs> Oh, look. <laughs> Got the rug animal skin right over. I can remember wearing them riding bridges. I hated them. They stuck out here on the side and they yeah. had leather down the front. Yeah. I, See, uh, that's out on the lake. And you had to wear long johns and you had to pull them all in. And mm -hmm. oh, dear. And when you put them on there, it snug your body. I hated it. <laughs> Since I get old enough to say no, I haven't worn long johns. <laughs> <laughs> and we had so many clothes on, we were never cold. Yeah. <laughs> and we fell down and we just stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> a winter carnival, <laughs> an ice carnival. A costume carnival, I yeah. would think. So I'll put them in. The girl on the left has skates on. Come on, a carnival? Maybe. Yeah. That was always a big thing. Yes, oh it? yes. Still, Kids loved it. Still doing it. Yeah, that's the Senators hockey team. There's yeah. Kent Ross. There's Kent Ross. There's Bud Stewart. Mm -hmm. Harry McNichol. Harry McNichol. Pickle McNichol. It's Kent Ross. Kent Ross is the one in the back there. Not Sandy Miller, is it? Could be. Could be Sandy Miller, but I don't know. That's, that, Kent, that, that's Kent, Kent Ross. Kent Ross. He was one of the later owners of the cottage craft. I think that's Doug Henderson. Pick, uh, Allison McNichol. Well, Pickle Allison Mc Pickle. Yeah. That's Pickle. Always known as Pickle. Pickle and Bud Stewart right beside Pickle. Bud Stewart, that the fingers being played. So, and that's Bill O'Neill standing up there with the hat on. I'm pretty sure. Oh, Bill oh. O'Neill. It's his smile. Yes. And that's the way he wore a hat. <laughs> <laughs>